business for TCS. And I would like to invite and welcome all of you staying for this session, which is ICT in Rural Development and E-Panchayats, the Opportunities and Challenges. Uh, we have a very eminent panel uh, who is going to discuss this topic, which is of extreme relevance in the context of what ICT can bring in terms of transformation in the mass of India, which is where the mass stays, which is the rural India. And I have the privilege of inviting on stage the speakers who are going to share with you their relevant experiences from their sectors. Firstly, uh, extremely and a very senior uh, bureaucrat from the government of Gujarat, Principal Secretary, Forests and Environment, Sri S.K. Nanda. Sir, would you please come on stage? Sanjeev Gupta, he is the Vice President, Corporate and Public Policy Affairs of Accenture. Sanjeev, would you please join us on stage? Nivedan Sani, representing Tata Teleservices. So he is going to discuss with you about the rural reach of telephony and connectivity and what it can do for transformation of the rural sector. Dharmendra Singh, he is the Director of E-Governance for Hughes Communication. And in many areas where we are not able to reach the last mile, how can satellite navigation, satellite communication bring a transformation? And finally, Ram Kumar, he is the CEO of the Gujarat State Watershed Development Agency. So Ram Kumar, please come on stage. Uh, we have a truncated session because, you know, we are going a little late. So I've been asked that we need to finish this session by about 1.10, 1 1.15 1 at, the, at the latest because then, you know, then we will be standing between lunch and the session, which obviously we don't want to do. So we will initially request all the speakers uh, to give their initial remarks and then we will probably try to squeeze in a Q&A session and an interactive session so that if you have any comments or questions to the panelists, then you could certainly, you know, ask them. Uh, from my perspective, I think uh, this is an extremely relevant uh, topic of today. Whilst we have ICT proliferation in the urban areas in India, and I think the internet penetration and several other parameters are showing a very, very skewed upward trend, the real challenge is to bring the enablement of IT to the masses and impact society at large, which 75% or more of which in India are residing in the rural areas, and how can governance transformation take place? Because that is a very, very burning topic of today. I think, you know, protests and groups uh, in Delhi and now probably 27th onwards in Bombay are going to continue to, uh, you know, demonstrate, protest, and the only uh, change that they're wanting to bring is the change in bringing transparency in governance to target vested interest and to target corruption. And I think it's an extremely relevant topic that we are discussing this afternoon, uh, uh, this morning here in Ahmedabad. Firstly, I must compliment the Gujarat government for a state-of-the-art facility. I think it is uh, equivalent to amongst the best in the world, and I think it's a real foundation stone for uh, bigger things to come in the overall vision of striving to continue to be excellent and to lead by example as a state amongst all other states in the country. I want to compliment E-India and Ravi Gupta and his group and his team for continuously and doggedly pursuing these uh, seminars and conferences which bring awareness and brings percolation of some of these initiatives that ICT needs to bring in terms of making a difference in the country. For a country that is $80 billion in IT exports, it is an extremely dichotomous situation that we are not able to bring the benefits of IT to the common man in India. And I think collectively it is for the industry and the ecosystem of leaders like Ravi Gupta, who through his magazine and several other initiatives continues to highlight examples of excellence, examples of where change is being brought about through IT enablement and so that others can learn and, you know, not reinvent the wheel. I think it's, it's a tremendous uh, task that is being done and through his E-India 
events, ICT events, which have attained the scale of being amongst the largest in the country, and not just in the country, I think E-India is now organizing international conferences as well. I think the number is to really spread the word and share the examples of success so that others can emulate and we can quickly replicate and bring a parity amongst the various parts of the country. So rural development and Panchayati Raj governance and how can ICT make a difference and how can ICT bring transformation uh, to uh, this section, the very, very relevant and important section of society, the disprivileged, as we call it, on the other side of the digital divide. And we have to remember that this society will continue to be deprived of digital privileges. And therefore, the challenge for all of us is how can we, who are digitally privileged, work and bring solutions so that we can bring more and more people towards this side of the digital divide. And if we don't, what are the frustrations and some of the economic deprivation that is going to lead to a high degree of disillusionment in the large section of society continues to be not availing the benefits of IT, as indeed some of us, few people who are privileged, who have the benefit of education, access, technology, are able to progress our lives, the same pace needs to be brought in terms some degree to this section who are residing in the villages. And to discuss this topic, I would request uh, Principal Secretary. I'm sorry, I missed out. Uh, there's an, uh, JP Pandey, Senior Vice President of Presto Info Solutions. Would you also please join us on stage? I'm sorry, I missed out your name. Uh, you will also be amongst the speakers discussing some of your experiences of bringing ICT to this section of society. So I would now request Mr. Nanda to share his perspective. I would request the speakers to give in an initial remarks of about five to seven minutes each, after which I would straight away want to move to an interactive session and Q&A, and then we would like to certainly end up by about 1.10, 1.15 at the latest.